Um, so we kind of went over the formatting of, you know, it looks like this, but then when you actually merge it with your um, your data and print, um, then it can look like the below. So this is our purchase order form, like I was talking about. I put the yellow shading at the top, which some people don't like. Um, you know, I moved the purchase order, made it bigger. Um, I put our address. Um, we have numbers in our industry, so I have like our AFI numbers, kind of like our industry numbers, all part of the header. Um, you know, and then this one has like your vendor um, and that kind of stuff. This is just showing you a finished purchase order one that I made. It's the one we use. Um, so modifying reports. Back to your question, is because report um, because the word reports are just a it's, it's kind of like another version of the report writer. The field has to exist in report writer. So if you want to add something um, to your word template, it has to exist in report writer. So um, on the template, like the country isn't listed. So you would need to have your country. Um, field on report writer, and then you can use it in your template. Does that kind of make sense? So if you want a calculated field, it has to exist in report writer, and then it's a field that you can use in the yeah, template. You know, you generate the template after you make the change in report writer. Generate it. No, we'll kind of go over the steps you have to take. Um, so kind of the first thing. Um, you want to make sure you have is you need to have the Microsoft Word add-in. So it's part of your installation. Um, so you just need to have the Word add-in. Um, and then you need to enable the developer ribbon. I'll kind of show you that. So in Word, <coughs> this developer tab isn't always there. If you go to Word Options, This checkbox of Show Developer tab in the ribbon that will enable you to see the the GP add-in. If you install it, and I even did this for the presentation, I'm like oh, it's not installed, but I just didn't enable the Developer tab so that you could see that it was there. And the word add-in is on your GP disk, so you already have that available. So once you show the developer tab in the ribbon, then you have it right here. And you can see the Microsoft Dynamics GP template. And this is what the add-in gives you. So if you enable the ribbon and you don't have this, then you probably didn't install the add-in. So to do um, different reports or different fields, you go to this field list. And then it will bring up your 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 um, all your fields. So this is broken down how it's broken down in Report Writer with your page header, um, your report header, your header item, the component header body. You know all these fields that are just on the standard out of the box Report Writer. Um, so if you change something on your Report Writer, it won't just Display here. You have to add a source. So I'll kind of go over that. One of the fun parts. Um, so in Microsoft Dynamics, um, depending on if your IT person will let you do this, I didn't ask for permission, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you go through Tools, Customize, Report Writer, this is where you can see. Kind of the the standard template that you have in the layout. Find your report to the SOP. Let's see the order. Mm -hmm. Something I should also point out is if you're making an invoice form, you have to make an invoice form that's an open one and an invoice form that's Historical, since they are two different ones. I don't think you can just do it once and be done. <laughs> so, find the SLP blank order form. Um, open it. 
look at the layout. So this is how Patrick, my IT manager, used to have to do all of our reports. And I'm sure you guys are, some of you are familiar with the screen. You either like it or hate it. <laughs> um, but what you can do is if you want a field on here, you can see that the bill to doesn't have the country. And if you're international and you need the country on there, um, you can just grab the field and put it on there. It doesn't really have to look pretty because you're not using this one unless you're allowing people to print the standard for the template. So don't just throw it on top of something if you're going to let people still use this standard report writer form. Or, you know, throw it up here somewhere crazy. Um, so if, if people are still going to use the standard report writer form, put it somewhere so that it will look good when it prints. So you actually have to drop the field on yeah. the report to get to show up in the Word template? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, go ahead, Rob. Uh, the training I took last week at Microsoft's headquarters is when they release 2010 R2, they're going to give us a tool that's not for the customer, but they will be able to convert that tool will be to allow us to convert all of your standard reports into work for everything inside you. But it'll be released sometime in a major <coughs> time period. But it's not a tool that's customer focusing. It's fairly technical. But it will convert them all. Now the other other so. part of that too is that with version ten you had about sixty SRS reports available. And in the next version you had a couple hundred. So they're also adding those reports as a potential replacement for the report writer. So it seems like report writer is going to go away sooner or later. Probably the, the hardest part to this, and, and forgive me if I'm getting ahead of myself here, but if, if you have, uh, for instance, uh, some fields that don't exist on a report writer, then you'd have to do some special linking and adding of tables to get things on to the report. Like you do now, report writer. So you have to go to at least that step if you want to really customize some of the reports. Yeah. So that's why I said this is a fun part because myself, I hadn't ever used report writer, so I wasn't sure what I was doing. So Terry helped me a little bit, and then I would ask, you know, our IT manager, what's that field called, and where is it at, so I can just drag and drop it on the right spot. Um, because one I needed was like the actual ship date, and it was kind of a harder one to find. Um, and then I had to do a calculated field for the payment due. So all that has to be done in the report writer. Um, so you have your different you know, things over here, and you can do your calculated field after you create those. And then you just have to be um, drag on here, and then they can be used. Now, do you have to drag them in the right section, or you can move them from section to section once you get in Word, right? Um, yeah, but you want to remember where you placed it because that's where you're going to have to find it in Word. So I dragged this country into the page header. Um, there's also the report header with the build to and ship to. So just you want to remember where you placed it because if you're looking in those folders, it will be exactly where you dropped it. So I'm just going to leave the country there. It's the layout. Back in GP. Computer's super fast. Take a minute. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now that you've modified that, um, you have to make sure that um, your system is recognizing the modified form and not just looking at the original. So this is kind of a tricky one. You go to Tools, Setup, System, 
and then the alternate modified forms and reports. So you go find your um, ID that you've given for your report, and then do your report type. And then under sales, you can see the order form. This is the one we modified. So you can see right there that it's, um, it's still reading the original. So if you want to change it to the modified, you just click this button. And now we'll read the modified version. And save. Now if you go into a sales order, Open up one of these that we have, and if you print it, what I usually do first to make sure it works is just to print it standard to screen. Put it in the wrong box. But anyway, that's how you can tell sometimes. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't remember to place it. In which one I placed it? Yeah, it might be here somewhere, but I know about this much about Report Writer, and I know you have to like place things just so. But um, that's why I actually really throw mine like up in the blank spot so that I know that it went there. Um, and everyone knows to not print the, the standard one anymore. Um, okay, so from there, we'll just print it again. So this is how you add a source. So as you saw in GP, to add a source, you have to add a, an XML file. So to do that, you do it from whatever report you're trying to print. So you can do it from the window or from whatever way you print. Just print one of them. You just print the order. And do the standard. And the file type you want to choose is the XML. This is what confused me probably the most of this whole process. But it not that bad if you don't really think about the XML. <laughs> so you use Report Writer to generate the new report, print it to an XML file, import it into Word, which then makes the new field available, then yes. save it, go back to the report's maintenance, re add it, yes. then you go back to print, <laughs> you can then use it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And there will be a test afterwards. So <laughs> make sure you get it. <laughs> so I'm just going to like that. So now you can see the XML. And if you're an IT person that thinks this is old, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Which is scary to me, but I know some people understand it. So now what you can do is just add a source to your order form. This one that I did. And now you can see I have two. Now you can see it's right there in the page header, this SOP document header temp country. <laughs> 